she cheated on me from the jump. I'm going to be upfront, I'm youngish at 23, and I'm in college currently and my partner was in grad school that the relationship was serious and had been 14 months long and we had been talking about maybe getting married when I graduated which was supposed to be December. I flunked because of this, and while the school cleared my record it's now 9 weeks from today. We had this plan basically of get hitched, then when she graduated a year of fire if I had the money, we would go to Brussels as a honeymoon and go from there about maybe starting our family. If any of that is a too dicey on rule 1 I'm sorry but I am genuinely not trying to break rules. To me it is a serious, long-term relationship hence, why I feel it fits here. I have been keeping quiet about this because I was frankly embarrassed it happened to me. I was cheated on in the past when younger, but I never felt this pathetic. Me and my partner met in early September 2020 and I thought we had something really good. We were scarily alike and everything seemed really perfect and well behaved. I had some moments of alarm here or there as she would had a few guy friends she took trips with overnight, but I convinced myself I was paranoid. We had talked about a month and on if we were exclusive and committed, and the answer was yes so I was going to trust her. Things started coming to a head in early October, but it's a slow train wreck. She started talking about this 30-year-old fail of fighter who was like a brother to her, and mentioned a few times he has abs. I told her I wasn't okay with this and I wanted to meet him. She said yeah sure, you two get along great and I left it. Week later there was a discussion and I made a joke that the only reason she dates me is because I can carry out her furniture. She then comes out of left field and says, well if guy can do it, and he can take out my couch to after he breaks it pounding me into it. I stopped and said and said that was not okay. She tried to say my joke was worse, but I was seriously hurt and asked her point blank if she had been cheating. She said first, that's none of your business and second, you know I would never. I should have called it right there but I convinced myself I was stupid. Fast forward and one night out of the blue and she buys me these really expensive boots. She had no reason she said but she said I looked happy and that was important but it was also like $200 goods and she lives off of $800 a month for rent and food and is debt spending beyond that. That night she calls me and says she needs me bad and she was coming to grab me. We were going to spend a week together in her apartment and playhouse. I was a bit apprehensive as I had worked the next day and I can't get to work from her place easily but she insisted she would pay for a Uber or something. I agreed and made the arrangements to cover for me being Maya for the week. I get there, we watched Beetlejuice and went to bed. Next morning I woke up early and stuck out to get us donuts and came back and when she woke up she suddenly had a million things to do. It was a hectic day and I realized at the end of it I would need to do school work while I was over at her place, so I asked if it was okay to use her laptop and she said sure and gave me the password. At 6 I went to work and around 10 I came back to an empty apartment with a note she had an emergency with her grandma and would be back soon and to watch her dog. I said sure and took a bath then went to use her computer and then I saw the messages. She had her messages displayed on her computer and the last message was her texting off guy I can't wait to taste you tonight. I was sick and shaking and I called her and demanded an explanation. She was mad and wanted to know why I was in her messages and I pointed out she left them up. She then admitted it, she was with off guy down south and they had plans for the next 5 days. I wanted to leave and she said sure but that I would kill her dog and leave her apartment to be robbed. I broke and stayed like a fool and ended up having a series of panic attacks in my world, basically became feeding and taking care of that dog then, Nightwill to put myself to sleep. She came home and sat me down and said she loved me, but she was attracted to me, and she had been seeing the up guy for two weeks, and that was it she swore. I was livid and gave her back her guilt boots and left. Two days later, she came back apologizing saying she wanted to make it right. I decided to try and forgive but she would keep calling me late at night, in this breathless voice, and so happy, it made me sick, because I knew she was cheating, but didn't accuse her. Then, one night, she called me her soulmate, and all that then, literally said, oh I have to go, he is coming down the steps, now dot by, I knew it was happening, and I was done I walked away, and I told her to go herself, and that I hated her. That was November 9th, the day after. My birthday. I was in a bad place, and started drinking again, and did some other bad things to myself, and almost died because of it, but I recovered kinda and wasn't actively messing my stuff up. I changed a lot, I my head, lost 20 pounds in 3 weeks, and have since lost another 60. I stopped seeing people socially, and still haven't, since it happened with 3 exceptions, with my best friend. Then in December she came back again. She admitted she was a monster and wanted to fix things. I told her I hated her, and I didn't want to see her but then, she threatened to hurt herself so I broke, and allowed her to take me over to her apartment. 
I held her while she just cried relentlessly saying she was monster, and how no one but me ever loved her, and blah blah blah. I grit my teeth and I made a deal. I tried to forgive, but there was going to be rules, and that she was on thin ice. We literally spent a full day and a half with only a six-hour break to sleep negotiating the contract she insisted on keeping on. We're Google Drive and a point system for her infractions, because she didn't trust me to not walk away for no reason. We spent a Christmas together watching movies and decorating a tree then, during that she broke down again and came clean. Apparently the entire time we were together, she was always seeing other men, and to top it off her abusive ex-boyfriend wasn't her ex until two months into our relationship. She kept insisting he was abusive, but honestly I doubt it, I looked into him after the fact, and it looks like she held all the cards and pushed him into the army to get rid of him so she could around. I didn't want to hear any more and told her to stop. That was behind us now, and while she lied I promised to try so here we are. We ended that date and the next morning, she texted me saying she was sick but wanted to say she loved me and wanted to call me. I said alright get some rest. Then around 6 I had a question about something in the contract. I swear on my life the wording was edited. On one of our agreements about where we would meet as I specifically made sure to say it had to be within an hour walking distance of my home for my safety, but instead it was edited to two hours driving which is ridiculous. She answered the phone, and then I heard her yell it's nothing then run and close the door. My gut sank and my immediate question became where are you and her response sealed it. I'll tell you but you're not allowed to be mad, I bit my townge, and she then revealed she was at the up guy's place again. I went through the roof and just kept repeating wow. She kept going you don't have a right to be mad, and saying we're just on his couch watching Game of Thrones and alternating between the two. I hung up on her and went for a walk. I walked over 20 miles that night just having an out-of-body experience and I had to get picked up by my best friend who brought me home and sat with me. The real kick in the teeth is that while walking that night I went to check that contract and she had deleted it. She also blocked me on Facebook and Venmo and I'm going to guess she had the other guy block me on Facebook too so I couldn't tell her. I've been numb really since and it's been really hard recovering. I am forcing myself to talk just because sitting with this bottle up has been torture. I don't know what else to say really or why I'm here. I guess I just kinda want to know what now. It's been so hard and so lonely honestly. My best friend checked in on January 20th and took me to visit my grandma last Monday I think, but other than that I've been alone. I can't even talk to my friends or family about it, just because of how painful and embarrassing it is. I just don't know anymore. Story 2. Cheated on by wife. Left for another guy. She still texts me frequently and cries to me how I'm doing better than her and how it's not fair. First time, post on Reddit so I'm going to do my best. I don't know the acronyms yet, I'm trying to learn them all. If my writing and story is all over the place, just know I'm going off the top of my head and thoughts and emotions right now, sorry. To start, I'm 31M, and wife is 28F. We have two kids, 7 and 5. My wife asked me for a separation Aug 27, 2020. She left that day and was apparently living at her mom's, the day after I get messages from her cousin that she's been cheating on me. Wife claims she never did up to this day. A week after we met up to do a Zoom meeting on her phone to meet our son's teacher online. She gets a Facebook message saying something like, only a few hours, eggplant emoji, peach emoji, sweat emoji. After the meeting, I asked her if she could explain that and she said she didn't want to talk about it and that she deleted the messages already. She said it was a girlfriend of hers, because my wife was going on a date and apparently girlfriends get excited for each other and think they're just going to get laid which I obviously didn't believe at all. I got really upset and told her to leave. Around Thanksgiving, October for us in Canada, she told me she was taking the kids to another city to visit her grandparents and go swimming for Thanksgiving. She ended up lying and actually went with our kids and this guy she apparently cheated on me with and stayed in a hotel. On their drive back, the car engine blew and died. The car she fought me for and owes almost $12,000 on still and still makes payments on every couple weeks. This is when I started to believe in karma a little bit more. Between Sept and Nav, my wife and I drank together, and had around five or six times. I still wanted her back and I really wanted to have with her. The part that I'm realizing now is that she's been seeing this guy for a while now. I found pictures of them about a week and a half ago. Ever since I saw those pics and confirmed things, I've stopped talking to her. I just wanted to believe all her lies, even when they were obvious. So she's cheated on me, left me for him, and was cheating on that guy? With me. Just two weeks ago, before I found out for sure, she came over and we were talking, and she was letting me feel her up and give her a full body massage and everything. Right now, I can't even fathom what's going on in her head. Some other extra facts. 
The kids are doing well, my apartment is spotless, and I've lost 50 pounds since she left me 235 pounds down to 185 pounds. She's come to my place a couple times and has cried to me about how it's so unfair how I'm doing so much better than she is. She said, it's not fair that I'm doing all this now and not when we were together. She told me she still loved me on Christmas and bought me Christmas gifts. Not just junk, but a bottle of sake because she knows how much I want to visit Japan and like making Rayman and such, so she put thought into it. I don't mean to sound rude either, but she doesn't look very good nowadays either. She's been putting on weight, has gone hard into drugs and drinking. She tells me she cries all the time. She told me she was depressed with me, left me thinking it'd be better, but is still depressed, and that messes with her. But as we know, happiness comes from within, and she has none. So if you left me for someone else, at least be happy about it and make the best of it. She hasn't texted me for four days now. This is the longest she hasn't texted me in four months. She has told me before, when we were together, that if she ever left I would fail. When I started a job working in a kitchen, started as dishwasher, she said I would never make any friends. Apparently she forgot how social and good with people I am. All the waitresses loved me. I moved from dishwasher to working on the line and being asked if I'd want a bartend. At the time I was overweight and my self-worth and confidence were shot, so I didn't take up the bartending. She didn't like how many people, especially the girls, ended up liking me. Throughout the marriage, whenever me and my wife would go out drinking, she would always end up twerking on the wall or on the floor and letting guys videotape her. She flirted with everyone and even had many of my close friends thinking I wanted it with her. I don't drink often, but one Halloween I drank too much at a friend's party, ended up passing out and throwing up everywhere. While I was doing that, she was in the bathroom with guys showing her off for free coke and who knows what else. But she convinced me nothing happened and ended up making me think I'm crazy and everyone was wrong, basically gaslighting me. I'm seeing a therapist now and I'm learning that basically she just needs attention from external sources non-stop. Getting it from her husband just wasn't enough. I know we all have issues, our marriage wasn't perfect. I know I still love her and care about her, but I won't be a back burner or a second choice. I hate comparing how me and her are doing, but it makes me feel better right now. I have my own place, a dog, happy kids, my own vehicle, money, in university. And even though I feel like complete garbage, I'm going through the emotions so I can fully move on and try to be at peace. Whereas she is living with her mom, broken car, no vehicle, asking me for money and living off serve, copied money, unhappy, depressed, thought the grass was greener and it isn't. She is so afraid to be alone with her own thoughts that she still sleeps with her mom or the kids sometimes. When I have moved on, she will not. I don't know if she will ever move on, because she knows she made a mistake and is stubborn. In the end, I just don't know why she cheated and left, but continues to text me, has had with me, says how much I'm doing better than her, it boggles the mind. But then again, how can you understand someone who doesn't even understand themselves? I'm doing well, but some weeks I just feel so much hurt. Like she pulled my heart out, shattered it and banged the other guy on top of the shattered pieces. Anyways, that's the story. There's so much more. I can say in background that I could give, but I think this does it. Thanks for reading. Feel free to ask any questions or whatnot. It's a difficult time to get separated, cheated on, and covet at the same time.